Hello there, my name is Iswans, and welcome to part one of, advanced, of the Advanced Physics Simulation uh, course or series in Blender 2.8. Uh, so yeah, as the introduction or pre course preview uh, said, uh, this is what we are going to be doing. And you can see breaking up, uh, fracturing this glass bottle. And uh, it's kind of procedure. I don't know, I'm not sure if this, the word, this, if this is the word for it, but uh, yeah, you can change, you can make changes to, to your scene and uh, the simulation will take all those all those changes into consideration so you can see this is a pretty smooth uh, surface but uh, if we added that uh, displacement modifier to make it uneven and see even the simulation will change uh, accordingly now it's not only limited to modifiers so you can see let me first turn off this playback see how this is very smooth if I say extruded a wall here and see I don't have to, to do anything else I just have to play back and uh, everything works as intended uh, if I wanted maybe to throw this over this uh, so that it, it misses the wall I can just turn back my control object then uh, Rick uh, kind of move it around uh, so that it misses so that the projection maybe can I want it to touch just a bit just make sure that uh, only this point here just to show you how much control you have with this setup just want it to just only this head or tip uh, to kind of uh, hit the, the wall but the rest should just uh, jump off so that's all you have to do, just set up the, the original or the target, the control object. That's, how, that's what I would call it. And uh, you're good, you can see. And then you hide your control object. You can see how that looks. So this is the setup you're going to be looking at and uh, again, you can make changes to your, and you're not only limited to this, so if I had, if I add, what should I add here? Maybe a torus. Somewhere in there. I just need to set up this rigid body system, make sure that uh, the shape is set to mesh. And, uh, oh, it shouldn't be active, because I wanted to see if it gets in the way it will surely collide with the object so this is the setup we are going to be doing and uh, yes so ah, um, a few things I want to talk about here uh, if you want to get uh, the, the final project file uh, the entire setup here you can just become a patron and I uh, request the project file I'll have them on my patron page so that you can download them there uh, but uh, yeah it's also a way to support me and uh, help me keep are uh, doing these tutorials and uh, doing the research I needed to uh, kind of make these tutorials because it takes a, a while to figure out how to set up these things uh, but uh, you can also support me in a different ways uh, you can uh, buy uh, this bottle here well made textured everything with materials that work directly in EV and cycles uh, you can just go to my uh, <laughs> my CG trader uh, store and uh, look at the models I have there. Uh, this is the model we're using here. So you can look at the final renders and, uh, and They're quite cheap. So yeah, uh, so this is the model it comes with a few things here And uh, if you if you have any issues uh, with the model you just let me know and I can see how I can help you uh, With them. So let's get into the, the tutorial or part one and let's see so uh, hopefully you have something like this uh, that we are going to that you're going to break uh, so and uh, what I've done is uh, I've named this as the original uh, object and uh, let me call it control 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 object because it's what we're going to be using to control the animation uh, of uh, the entire object I uh, the bottle cap here uh, we're not going to focus a lot of focus on it a lot but uh, you can parent it to the uh, to the object or uh, to the control object so that when you animate uh, this 
Uh, this sticks to the bottle itself, but uh, we're not going to focus on that uh, too much here uh, because you can even animate it later in your scene. Uh, so let me first hide that. And now let's deal with this. Uh, we're going to be using the fracture add-on uh, to fracture this into different uh, pieces. Uh, so to do that, we need to, to have the fracture add-on enabled. So go under edit, preferences, and then add-ons, and then find fracture. It's under cell fracture. Enable that, and uh, you, sh you should be able to access uh, the settings for the fracture uh, add-on under the object menu, um, quick effects, and then so fracture. You can also type uh, press F3 and uh, find it like that. So so fracture, and uh, it should have worked like that as well. So yeah. So part one, we're just going to fracture this object and maybe set up the rigid body. I don't know, let's see what how it goes. So let's start fracturing this. Uh, so for the fracture settings, uh, just select uh, the object you want to fracture and uh, name it accordingly so that you, when you fracture the object, you can easily tell the difference between uh, the original object and the fractured of pieces. So select the object, go under object, uh, go under the object menu, quick effect, uh, cell fracture, and uh, you should have this menu pop up. Uh, so there are a few things here I want to to work with so I 